So it's been about a week since we received the chassis from the powder coaters. We've got all the smaller bits now, so prop cover, engine mounts, spring hangers, uh, clutch booster pack. In this week while we've been waiting for the small parts, we've done all the piping and wiring. Uh, it's really, I don't think it's very interesting because there's a lot of just putting a pipe through the chassis, taping one end, knowing what it does. So a bit like that, and then terminating it at the other end onto the correct solenoid or correct finishing position. So a bit like that and that. It's a lot of small finicky work. Also the wiring loom, that's, that I think took Tom like three days to do the full chassis wiring loom. So that was really cool. But now we're gonna start really bolting the small stuff on. And this is gonna be the big step this week where it's gonna really start looking like a race truck. So all the spring hangers can go on and the springs can go in ready to accept the axles. Also all the engine mounts will go on so the shelf will really start emptying out. So we've got all the sort of parts ready to be bolted on. With all the PE bolts, all the finest PE bolts, which are a hell of a lot cheaper from the um, compared to OE stuff. Uh, and we, we rarely use a lot of PE parts when we build the new truck. It is to keep the cost down because we could not afford to build a truck only using OE parts, but also the quality of the PE parts is like top level. And we've been working with PE for like seven years. And if the parts were no good, we wouldn't be buying them. So from this side, it's really cool that we, we can receive all these parts from PE. So a big thank you for PE, especially for uh, while we're building the truck. So they really invest heavily while we're doing the, the initial build because that's where a lot of the parts get used in general. We do actually cut a lot of parts up. So you'll see this is like a standard MAN uh, wiper system configuration sorry if you can't see that but yeah uh, and we received that from PE I think a unit price is I don't know about 200 pounds but we actually cut it and shape it and fit it bolt it directly to the to the uh, kick plate it's to keep it strong and also a lot lighter so we can just bolt the motor straight in uh, keeps the weight down we know where exactly where it is we can then do the wiring to where it is. Also, it allows for the airflow to go smoother through the tunnel. Sounds crazy, but that's one of the reasons why we put it there. Also, it keeps it nice and dry and, and out of harm's way. Um, so now we will start bolting everything on. And like I say, yeah, this should be the, the biggest step noticeably without the cab going on, obviously, um, that's gonna happen in the next few weeks. So. Uh, once all this is on, then we can finish doing the hard piping. So fuel lines and main air feed from the compressor to the four-way circuit protection valve. Uh, so a lot of the stuff is actually standard what we put on the truck and for safety reasons, you need the four-way circuit protection valve. Um, so yeah, we will uh, get all this bolted on and we will show you everything that goes on. So as you can see, it's really looking like a race truck now. So front axles in mounted, rear axles in mounted. We've just got to lift some brake pads down at the weekend and get them all fitted. Uh, I've got some oil to put in the rear diff. Then the rear axle is 100% finished. Just small stuff like put dampers on and, and stuff like that. But we've just received the dampers yesterday. You can see there is two big things missing. So we have still no engine but it is on the way i have been reassured that it's on route to us now uh, and also the cab uh, the cab we've decided to actually build it on the floor because it's a lot easier and you're not going up and down ladders so you can now see tom's finest wiring work so it's looking a lot cleaner a lot nicer
and we have actually just sort of copied the position from the old sort of seating position because obviously Antonio is still driving for us so it's a really quick easy um, sort of setup to do so we have adjustable throttle pedal adjustable steering wheel uh, adjustable gear lever the seat is also adjustable uh, so we've just got some small things to finish off we have got the uh, extra brackets these are for the uh, new six point fixing seat from uh, motor drive so uh, this should be ready hopefully this week and then we've just got some small stuff to finish off but as you can see it's a lot easier just to step in and out of the the sort of cab when it's this height rather than going up and down ladders so a bit like that so it's an absolute pain but yeah we're not lifting this cab off just to make our lives easier so we thought we'd sort of do it like this so uh, i think this weekend we're going to lift the cab on uh, to the new chassis uh, and then it will sort of be a big step but it's only probably an hour's worth of work to lift it on it won't take long at all then hopefully the engine is coming uh, latest monday so we can finish the piping off so we've got boost pipes to do we've got intercooler to go in once the cab's on then um, i think we've only got one one and a half coolant pipes to actually make for the engine all the diesel lines are here all the uh, um, from the compressor pipes are all set ready to go so it's it's it looks a long way away we've only got like two weeks to finish it off uh, but i think we are still on a good sort of position at the minute so i'm sure there'll be some uh, last minute head scratches the tank's 90 percent finished so i think generally it's uh, it's all looking good so the next step is uh, just to finish some small stuff up off on the cab then lift the cab on So that is the last time the engine and gearbox is out and or the last time it's going in hopefully for, uh, until the test unless we drop something into the engine but we hope we don't do that do we <laughs> um, and then we've just got some pipe work to finish off but thank you very much for watching um, we will show you the next steps in the next video see you soon